The swine flu sweeping around the globe is now in Britain. Doctors at Monklands Hospital in Lanarkshire have confirmed that two people who returned from Mexico with flu-like symptoms do have the H1N1 strain. Their symptoms are mild and they're recovering. But seven of the 22 people they've been in contact with back in the UK have also developed symptoms. They're being treated with antiviral drugs and have been told to stay at home. The threat uh, to the public remains very low and that the precautionary actions that we've been taking over the last two days have been extremely important in allowing us to respond appropriately and also uh, that they give us uh, the best prospect of disrupting uh, the spread of this virus. Earlier in the statement of the Commons, the Health Secretary said Britain is ready for a pandemic. All NHS organisations have pandemic flu plans in place and the Department of Health is now working closely with the NHS to ensure that these plans can be put into action so that antivirals can be made available to the public very rapidly should we reach that stage. The Department of Health has calculated that a pandemic could kill 750,000 people in a worst case scenario, but antivirals would significantly reduce the death rate. It has a stockpile of 33.5 million courses of treatment. That would be enough to treat half the population. Only a vaccine could protect the population against a pandemic, but it would take at least four to six months to produce enough doses. And by then, swine flu could have spread around the world. In an attempt to slow the spread within the UK, travellers returning from Mexico are being screened for any sign of a fever. But the checks are haphazard. The man that opened the door had a mask on. He never said it did. So we were expecting it to be um, swab, yeah, but nothing. Just walked straight through. Nothing no questions, no screening, no nothing. Nothing. But Britain is gearing up for the threat. While scientists get to grips with the virus, the UK's emergency committee, COBRA, has met to ensure the nation is prepared for a pandemic. Thomas Moore, Sky News.